Hey, hey, hey! Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. It's lovely to have you here on the live stream. Wow, my goodness me, what a week it's been. It's Thursday already, and we're going to get into the best Adobe Audition workflow for beginners, thanks to Yuri, uh, who's been in touch and said, Mike, I love all these advanced tutorials you do on your channel on the live stream, but it'd be great if just once you could show me a little workflow uh, that helps beginners. Uh, And this is exactly what he sent to me. Uh, I am a beginner user of Adobe Audition CC, and I was wondering what other more experienced users' uh, workflows are like. How do you go about trimming and selecting clips, adjusting levels, etc., in the most time-efficient way? Right, I I can do that. I'm going to give you some hacks. uh, And do remember I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. That's my name there. And this show is brought to you by my Adobe Audition presets. If you like to produce audio that sounds absolutely amazing, uh, then you'll want to go and grab them. They're a multi-track template, uh, which I can access here, MRC. I'll use this. And uh, let's create, actually, let's create the session uh, called Beginner Workflow. So that's the first thing you'd usually do, Yuri, is you'd create a new multi-track session. And ideally, you would use a template. So usually this is selected as none, but I have my own presets. You can grab them for yourself at mrc.fm slash presets, as simple as that, mrc.fm slash presets. And you'll see here, you've got all the channels you could ever need to make voices sound good. But before doing any of that, I would record something into the waveform view. So let's say we had a voiceover. Click OK. Uh, I'll switch off preview window. So here we go. When you have a brand new audio file, which you create by going file, new audio file, this is a waveform audio recorder here. You just start recording hitting this button. And then I might say something that I want to cut out, like this. This is the intro. The voiceover is coming in three, two, one. You're listening to the best music with DJ Mikey Mike on MRC.FM. Take two. You're listening to the best music with DJ Mikey Mike on MRC.FM. There you go. All right, as you can see there quite clearly with this audio, I've got two takes, one here and one here that I want to use. Uh, That's me saying take two. Uh, That's me talking at the end and that's me talking at the beginning. So the first thing I would do is I would roll through and normalize this audio. And the way you can do that really easily is by assigning hotkeys. Now in your favorites menu, you will find there are a lot of interesting and handy features. Normalization is one I use all the time. And what normalization does, it doesn't alter the audio in any way. It just makes it louder so you can see the waveform a bit better, especially when you go over into the multi-track to start editing. It helps to be able to see the waveform. Like, for instance, if I don't normalize and I go into my multi-track session here and I drag that voice over into voice process, you see, I I can't even see that waveform there now anymore. I'd have to zoom right in like that by hovering over there and using my mouse wheel. But even then, it's tiny, that waveform. So the first thing, double-click any waveform takes you back to the original recording. I'm going to normalize. And to do that, I can either go into favorites and hit normalize to minus 0.1 dB. I recommend that. That's the kind of maximum before 0 dB. Uh, Minus 3 dB gives you a bit more headroom if you're editing together lots of clips. Um, But if you're going to use this a lot, as you can see, there's a hotkey here, N. When I press N on my keyboard, it will normalize. If your audition is not set up to do that, edit menu, keyboard shortcuts, and then you want to go to uh, your favorites menu. So this basically here is a mirror of the menus you've got up here, and you'll see favorites here. Twirl that down and look for that normalization. There you go. Double click there, and then you can you can stick in N as your hotkey. And there you go, you see on the key map here, normalize is there. And then when I hit the N button on my keyboard, let me show you, N is here, push that button, boom, normalized. Brilliant. Now when I go to multi-track, I can easily see everything there. Perfect. So that's going to make editing easy inside the multi-track. Delete it for the moment from the multi-track. Back to my voiceover by double clicking in the file uh, window here, voiceover. So I wanted to only keep uh, the audio and not this beginning talk where I'm sort of saying my intro and then I might say something that I want to cut out. Right, so I want to cut that out and also this bit at the end. There you go. Uh, There you go. I don't need that either. So what you do is you trim. And to trim, you select just the audio you want to keep, like this, and then hit Command-T on your keyboard to trim. Uh, You can also get this uh, in in other ways. Uh, There is a menu option for it. Uh, There it is, Crop. It's actually called Crop. Uh, Edit Crop. Uh, But I I prefer to consider it Trim, 
because you are essentially trimming the audio. So select everything, Command T, boom. Now I've uh, I've lost everything around it and just got the highlighted bit of audio. I can then place some markers on if I want. Uh, so I can place a, a marker here. And if I want to, I can go into the markers window here and uh, I can increase the duration of that marker. See, see that there? I just increase the duration. I can drag it around here to select just that bit of audio. Now I can place another marker here, marker two, and again, increase the duration like this, and then drag, click and drag that marker out. So now you can see I've selected both bits of audio I want. Now, if I want, I can do something really cool. Uh, I can select both markers, and I, actually I can rename them. I can call this take one, and I can call this take two, and then highlight them both by drag, you know, marquee selecting like that. And we've got all these different options here, but this one here, export audio of selected range markers to separate files. Brilliant. Click that. And yes, we'll use the marker names in the file names. Perfect. You can add a prefix if you want. Uh, so I can just say MRC. So it'll be MRC underscore take one in this case. And then I can choose where I'd like to save it. Uh, I'll save it to, uh, let's put it into uh, my downloads folder here. And uh, we'll save it as wave. Absolutely fine. All of that's good. I can include metadata, no problem. Export, boom, boom, done. And then I've got like a couple of takes here that I can bring in. There's one take and there's another take. And these will be just the clips of audio. There, there's my first take. There's my second take. Brilliant stuff. Uh, now if I want, I can go through and start adding some processing to it. Usually, I wouldn't recommend doing much inside the uh, the waveform view. You can do it all non-destructively inside uh, this Adobe Audition template here, uh, my presets. So I'll drag in take one here, and I can drag in take two over there. I can put them on different tracks, and then I can start uh, cutting and moving around. Uh, I can select. Again, if I, if I select everything in the multi-track, say I want to just take this bit with DJ Mikey Mike. So I want DJ Mikey Mike, it's Command K will place cuts around the audio, like that, Command K, and then suddenly I've cut that bit out, and now I can move that around onto another track. If you don't want it to move around in time, just Command Z to undo, hold down the Shift key, and then it will not move, it will just stay locked in time wherever you move it. So I can move it onto the chorus track in my uh, Music Radio Creative presets, so I get something like this. You're listening to the best music with, with DJ, DJ Mikey Mike, Mike on... MRC.FM. And then I can put more cuts in by going Command K here and Command K here. Uh, move that down to another track and this down to another track here. And this one I'm going to put on that track and then I'm going to hold Shift. And then on the top bit here, you see where you get the, the arrow with the sort of arrows pointing in all different directions. If I do that, I can actually hold down Alt as well, Alt and Shift. I can make a copy like that. And let's actually move that down to the darkened track. And now we get something like this. You're listening to the best music with DJ Mikey Mike on MRC. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. So already a sweep is starting to form and very beginner tactics there uh, just to get started. Another thing you can do is make sure you've got symmetrical fades. This is a new feature uh, that's come in since Adobe Audition CC 2018. Uh, just grab one side and then holding down the Alt key while I do it, symmetrical fades. Symmetrical fades, symmetrical fades. Just make sure everything is nice and clean. You've got nice clean fade-ins on the audio, which is always nice. And one final time, there you go. Nice fades on there, so you've got no excess noise. You can trim in by selecting the edge of a waveform and just trimming in. You'd have to put that fade back in again. Uh, again, here's a bit of excess noise. I can trim that in and then zoom in until I get that fade handle there and do the same. And there's your audio. When you're happy, you could just select the audio that you've mixed together and you want to mix down, select all of that, highlight it by clicking and dragging like so. Uh, you don't need to select all the waveforms, by the way. You can just do it like that. So these waveforms aren't selected. And then you can go to multi-track, mix down, time selection. If you do selected clips, obviously it will just mix down that singular clip, those two singular clips that I selected. But time selection, everything inside the highlight will mix. And there it is. There's a sweeper. And then file, save, or command save if you want to get used to sh shortcuts, hotkeys, and then beginner workflow mix down. You can call it something else. Uh, DJ mic uh, jingle. Jingle, spell jingle correctly. <laughs> yeah. And then you can choose if you want it to be WAVE or if you want it to be MP3. What formats do you want? 
usually it's all good uh, and then click OK and boom, it's saved. Simple as that. So a bit of an introduction to a beginner workflow for you, normalizing your audio, selecting, trimming. That's the kind of stuff you were asking for, Yuri. Really hope it's been of use to you. Uh, remember, if you'd like to submit a question to possibly get answered on this live stream, you can do so over at community.musicradiocreative.com. I would love to hear from you. What problems are you suffering? Uh, what help would you like to do with audio? Let me know and I will get it on a future live stream. And remember, this show is brought to you by my Music Radio Creative presets. These are the presets I use every day to produce audio in Adobe Audition, and you can grab them for yourself now by going to mrc.fm slash presets. Music Radio Creative.